Constant Z finishing has undergone a major improvement for the release of PowerMill 2010. This improvement is due to two new important pieces of functionality. The first one of these is the area filter. Now this is used for removing small enclosed pockets of toolpath that could potentially damage the tool if the tool does not have center cutting ability. So those of you who are familiar with PowerMill will know that the area filter has been available in uh, area clearance for some time and this functionality has now been included in Constant Z. The second big piece of functionality, uh, new piece of functionality, is the option to machine down to flats. So this means now that when uh, we have flat pockets uh, on our part, Constant Z will insert a toolpath segment exactly on the base of that pocket. So no longer will it leave any excess material at the bottom of flat pockets. So let's have a look at these two new pieces of functionality in a little bit more detail by opening a project. So the toolpath we have on the screen at the moment is a standard Constant Z toolpath which doesn't have the machine flats option switched on uh, or the area filter switched on. So this could have been done in a previous version of PowerMill, PowerMill 10, PowerMill 9, etc. And if we have a look a bit in a bit more detail, a bit closer at this toolpath uh, and this part, you can see that the part has several flat levels, several steps which run down into the base of the cavity to this large flat region. Now by simply hovering my cursor over one of these flat regions I can extract the Z value by simply looking at the status bar at the bottom of PAML and it tells me that this uh, flat step is at Z minus 45. If I select the last pass that runs over that step and go to my toolpath list, you can see that the pass is at Z minus 44. So I am one millimeter away from the bottom of the pocket. The same occurs here if I select the very bottom of the cavity, it's at Z minus 55. But if I select the actual last slice there, it's at Z minus 52. So this time I'm three millimeters away from the bottom of the pocket. So I'm leaving quite a lot of extra material uh, to machine off with a subsequent operation. So now let's look at the same toolpath in PAM11 with the flats option switched on. So if we just go to the settings so I can show you where the option is. And there we can see just a simple tick box to switch the flats option on. And as we're familiar with the other machine flats uh, options in other strategies, we have a flat tolerance to inform PAML what we would class as a flat surface. So now what Already we can see a difference in the toolpaths and if I draw the original toolpath over the top you can see the extra pass that it has inserted in various places. So we know that this pass is at Z minus 45, sorry this flat surface is at Z minus 45. If we now select our last pass again, our last constant Z pass, we can see it is exactly at Z minus 45. And likewise this, pa this uh, flat surface here is at Z minus 55 and if we select the last pass again it's telling me that the segment is at Z minus 55. So the introduced um, Introducing the machine flats option will put a pass not only on closed flat segments 
such as this one at the bottom here, but also on open flat segments as well. Now we're going to move on to look at the area filter. Now the area filter works in exactly the same way as the area filter does in area clearance. So we specify a value based upon the tool diameter units and any segment of toolpath that is less than that value in X or Y will be removed from the, the toolpath. So let's have a look at the actual user interface itself. So we have a, a separate tab now on the Constant Z Finishing called Unsafe Segment Removal. And here is where we specify the value in terms of tool diameter units. At the moment the value is set to 0 0.7. If we undraw the part so we can see the toolpath clearly from above. If we now increase that value to 0 0.1 sorry to one millimeter you'll notice that some of the segments inside this tapered pocket have been removed because those segments are less than one times the tool diameter in length or width let's just go back to the point seven and the point and the one so you can see clearly and when we increase the value even more to 1.5 times the tool diameter, you'll notice that the tool path to machine these holes has also been removed. The area filter has the intelligence built in to know that it should only remove segments from pocket regions and not from boss regions. So here you can see that this dome shaped upstand, regardless of what value I set my area filter to, the segments are not removed, even though they are those segments are smaller in length or width than one and a half times the tool diameter, which is the current value. But Pamel knows that those are to machine a boss and not a pocket, so it doesn't remove those segments. So to summarize, the area filter will remove any unsafe un, any potentially unsafe segments in very tight and close pockets that could damage the tool or the tips of the tool if the tool doesn't have center cutting and the machine flats will guarantee that we remove all the material down to the flat base of a pocket so we don't get any unexpected material left for a further operations to remove.